Mike Gannum can't wait to get back to doing some of the things he loves, like tossing around the football with his kids. It's something that's been a little bit harder for him to do over the last year and a half because of his polycystic kidney disease and a large blood clot he developed back in March of last year. The kidneys were so profound with cysts that they just pressed and pressed and pressed on his main vein. Mike's doctors at the Cleveland Clinic told the Ganims there was no time to waste. He needed a kidney transplant. It took months to get on the donor list. Then they were crushed when a cousin who stepped up wasn't a match. And finally, Mike's wife, Deb, turned to social media, putting out a plea to family and friends. He's only going to be 52 and, you know, he, he should have a lot of years left. And we had 119 shares that week. One of the people who saw the post and donated blood was Deb's dear friend, Sue George. They had matched our blood and mixed our blood together and it was a match. All along, I said to my husband, we got to try, I've got to try. You know, I'm not going to be the match, but I got to try. Then came more testing over the summer and a surgery finally scheduled for October 13th. But Friday, five days before the operation. Just cannot wrap my head around it. The clinic called the Ganims, telling them that it was being put on hold because Sue isn't vaccinated for COVID-19, even though Mike is. I don't know what that's going to mean. They called Mike and they said how sorry they are. The surgeons are devastated. Sue isn't vaccinated for religious and medical reasons and says throughout the entire transplant process, doctors have known that. They're putting this vaccination ahead of saving somebody's life. I'm willing to give a body part, a kidney, to this man and they are not going to do it because I'm not taking a shot. That makes no sense. In a statement, Cleveland Clinic said patients currently on the transplant waiting list for a deceased donor have until November 1st to adhere to the policy. It didn't specify a date for surgeries using a living donor, just that vaccination is required for both parties. That's and that's not fair. Deb says Mike's team is trying to come up with another solution, like having Sue surgery take place at another hospital. But she believes there should be a grace period for people who have surgeries already scheduled. If there's any way, shape or form I can do this for Mike, I'm going to do it, but I'm not getting the vax. <sighs> but Deb's worried if the surgery is delayed for too long, Mike will lose Sue as his donor. I'm just so afraid. I'm so afraid all over again. I mean, we were crying and crying so many tears of joy and gratefulness over this happening, and now it's the opposite. I'm just so afraid. In Eastlake, Jade Jarvis, News 5.